Hey everyone, today we're checking out the Optima Air from NuX FX. A big thanks to my friends at NuX for sending me this unit to try out. You know, I'm always trying to get a great acoustic guitar sound, especially playing live, going direct into the board. It's easier to do when you're in a studio environment. You can use microphones and get it to sound great. But when you have to plug direct into the board, it's a little bit harder to get a great sound. And so that's where impulse responses have really changed the game in that area for me and so this pedal uh, caught my attention intrigues me because it does just that it loads IRs but it's also a preamp a reverb unit whole bunch of different things and so I just wanted to take a quick moment share with you my thoughts share with you some of the sounds let you uh, decide for yourself what you think of the unit and uh, hopefully it helps you out so with that let's jump in to some of the features as far as the build quality it's solid a nice metal housing here the foot switches feel really good the knobs feel good all the jacks feel good it has a nice black textured matte finish which looks really awesome it's just a really well built pedal it feels really quality as far as the features first is the preamp section you have your bass middle treble and gain now new x is saying that they have voice this preamp to sound like a Neve 1073. Now, does it sound like a Neve 1073? I can't tell um, really based on using it, uh, but it does sound really good. I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below how you think it sounds uh, in relation to a Neve, but it does sound good nonetheless. Your next button here is the IR where you can turn on or off the IR. You can blend in your dry signal to wet signal, zero to 100%, whatever ratio you wanna do there using this IR knob. And this thing comes with 15 preloaded impulse responses voiced around different models of Gibsons, Martins, Taylors. You also have a bunch of user presets where you can load in your own impulse responses. You can even build your own IRs using this unit, a microphone, and an external preamp. So that's really cool as well. And then finally, you have your reverb. And this reverb is awesome. It's powerful. It sounds really, really good. In fact, all the reverb you heard in the intro song was from this unit. I didn't add any extra reverb in post. It all came from this unit. And so yeah, it sounds really awesome. If you want it off, you turn it all the way to zero. Otherwise, it's on all the time, even if these uh, foot switches are turned off. As far as the I.O. for the pedal, you have your basic input, output. You have a send and return where you can run a modulation or some other pedal in there between the preamp and the IR if you want to do that. You have your 9 volt power supply, a USB port here where you can plug it into the computer to use the editing software to build presets, save presets, load IRs, and a whole bunch of other stuff which we will jump into here in just a moment. And then finally you have your XLR out, a headphone out, and an auxiliary in. And so that's a quick look at the build of the pedal. Let's jump into the editing software and check out some sounds. All right, so here we are in the Optima Air editing software. I'm playing through my Gibson J15. I have a Seymour Duncan mag mic pickup in it. I'm going right into the pedal and then straight into Logic. I'm just gonna walk you through some of the presets, some of the different impulse responses that come with the unit and some of the features of the preamp here and we'll just check out some tones. So right away I'm on this Travis preset. This is one that NuX has built and it's running through, uh, looks like a Martin D45 impulse here. And here is what that sounds like. So pretty good right away. Let's check out some different impulse responses that we have here. Here is a Gibson Hummingbird. Let's check out this J15. So this is basically what I'm playing through. Let's turn that IR off just to compare. getting kind of a volume lift there, but definitely some similarities within the sound. Let's go over here to this Martin D45. This is probably my favorite IR that they have to offer. So 
So very nice there. And then the rest are geared towards electric guitars and uh, like piezo pickups and stuff that doesn't really relate to what I have. So it wouldn't really quite sound right. So I'm not gonna show you those with this guitar, but let's check out some of the preamp sections here. So if we turn the preamp off, let's go back to the bass settings here for Travis preset. Now if we go to take this preamp off, here's what we sound like. So pretty bright, pretty brittle. Um, you could see kind of that high end frequency buildup right in here. So that's where the preamp comes into play. So let's engage that again. We can bring back a little bit of the high. And then right here, we can actually blend our dry signal with the IR signal. So let's go about halfway, see what that sounds like. out so very nice there and this preamp is very helpful if you're just trying to kind of shape the sound we also have some uh, low cut and high cut features over here on the IR. So we have our impulse uh, level. We can bring that back down to zero since it's hitting that preamp kind of hard. And then here we can basically put in our low cut. So wherever you want to do that respectively. So in a song where the guitar is pretty much by itself, I'd probably keep that pretty low. But like if we're playing in a mix or if I'm playing, you know, live on a Sunday lean worship or something like that, I would probably cut that a little bit more because I don't need the guitar taking up a lot of that low frequency space. So definitely some cool expandability there with that. And then, so they have some different presets here. And like I said, some of these are voice for electric guitars and guitars with piezo pickups. So I'm not gonna go through that, but I am gonna show you one that I made here. And this is a preset that I made. I built an IR based around this Master's Choice acoustic and I think it sounds really awesome. This is actually what I use for a Sunday morning when I'm playing guitar or acoustic guitar, leading with acoustic guitar. This is the exact setup that I use. So here's what that sounds like. And then sometimes I will take the preamp out if I don't need it, and I think that sounds pretty good too. But let's put it back in for now. Now, this reverb here is so powerful. The reverb just sounds so good. Like I said earlier, it's on all the time. If you wanna turn it off, just put it all the way to zero. But I find myself a lot um, diamond it out. Like for, for this preset that I have, I have it kind of in a neutral position because I don't want it clouding up the mix, but it would be cool to make a few presets here where the reverb just kind of keeps going up gradually. That way, if I'm wanting to do some pad-like stuff with my acoustic guitar, you definitely can. So let's put this all the way out and then kind of do some finger picking stuff and it sounds really good.
So you can hear a lot of decay on that. Now where this really shines, where I think this pedal is incredible is for recording, you can get different tones and pan them left and right, take that reverb with it, and you just get a huge, nice, big ambient sound. And that's what's so cool about using impulse responses like this, is you can quickly change up the tone of your instrument and get recording. And if you know anything about recording, what is perceived as wideness or that big sound is having different sounds, different frequencies on both left and right. If you just have the same sound pan left and pan right, it's just gonna sound mono up the middle. You wanna get different tones there. That's what's gonna let your ear hear that separation. And that's where using these impulse responses and some different little EQ moves really come into play. Just a couple other quick things to cover here. If you wanna load your own impulse responses, you hit this button right here and then you can go into wherever you have those stored and drag those in and then you can save them into your unit here and store those on there. And then you can create and store your presets up here in this preamp section. It comes with nine already built presets and then another one here for you. But you can write over these like I did. I wrote over this one for my Thai Kuzi guitar preset and uh, you still have different presets within that. And then finally over here is the USB function. You can use it just in its normal state here. You can also use this unit to reamp and uh, set it to a dry out. And so that's cool, nice expandability there. And then finally, you can make your own impulse responses using this unit as well. I'm gonna show you one that I made using a warm WA87 and a Joe Meek uh, three EQ, I think it's called preamp, just a microphone preamp. That's the only downfall. You have to have an external mic preamp with this unit. But let me show you what that sounds like. Here is a an IR that I built using that, using this unit and an external preamp. Let's turn the reverb down. So that is a quick look at the Optima Air editing software. So overall, I think that this is a great pedal. It looks great, it's a good size, it's built really well, it sounds awesome. It's just become a really useful tool in my daily use. In fact, every single week when I'm playing acoustic guitar live for worship, I'm always using this pedal in my setup. It sounds great in the house. I even use this a lot for recording now, especially bigger arrangements where I don't really need the acoustic guitar to stand out as much. I just need it in the mix. This pedal does the trick. So it's a great unit to have. I would recommend it to you. And one last thought that maybe you didn't think of you can use this thing for electric guitar. It's not just limited to acoustic guitar. Because of the fact that you can load impulse responses in here, you can make a little small pedal board and have a kind of an amp in a box pedal or an overdrive boosted into this, into one of your favorite impulse responses, and you can use this as a cab simulator. And then out of this, run it into a delay or a reverb pedal, something like a New X Duo Time or Oceanic or something like that. I'm hoping I can show you this in context of how you can build a board based around acoustic guitar and electric guitar all in one and uh, just have a really simple streamlined setup and get great sound. So for now, I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. As always, God bless you guys and we will see you on the next video.